Welcome into another video. This time we're going to play a little game. We're going to have a little fun here, right here on the Bayou Bengal Fantasy Network. We're going to play quarterback carousel. And I have 12 quarterbacks going to 12 teams. Now I'm going to put this, let's put this on the board here. Look at this. So as you can see here, there is 12 quarterbacks that I had listed here. Uh, and I have the 12 football helmets down below on which team. Now, I don't know if you want to stop the video and think about which team do you think I have these guys going to. I'm going to place these helmets at different positions for different quarterbacks and explain to you why I believe they could be a good fit for this football team. Let's get right into the video and let's start having some fun. Let's put it back up on here. You see these, the first guy I'm going to go over, we're going to start at the top left. Let's talk about Caleb Williams. Now, I think the match for Caleb Williams will be with the Bears. So the Bears will draft Caleb Williams one overall. We have at this point, you got to call a spade a spade, right? We already know they're forget all the smoke screens. People are going to put up a lot of money if they want to try to take that number one spot for them. I think they're going to move on from Justin Fields. At first, I, I really think they should keep Justin Fields in my and, and build around him like a Marvin Harrison Jr. or such. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be Caleb Williams, the quarterback for the Chicago Bears. I think he's going to be matched up there with DJ Moore, maybe even a Romo Dunze later on. Maybe at the, I think the pick nine or ten, whatever they have. I think they're going to have a, a couple of these, maybe top top flight uh, quarterback, top flight wide receiver, match him up with DJ Moore and see what they can do. I think that, that Caleb Williams is definitely going to be there with the Bears. Next guy, as you can see right here that we're going to talk about is we're going to go right over to the right. There's going to be Jaden Daniels. And I have to say, Jaden Daniels, I think he's going number two overall to the Commanders. So the Commanders, I think, could be a team that's moving on from Sam Howe. As you see, he is also on the list. So we're talking about the Commanders will probably get rid of Howe. I don't think they're going to go to Drake May. Howe was the quarterback from UNC. I don't think they're going to go to another UNC quarterback with Drake May. I think they're going to say, hey, forget the UNC quarterback crap. We ain't used to it no more. Let's go get Jaden Daniels, a guy who can rush for a ton, a ton of yards and also put up good numbers through the air. So Jaden Daniels, I think is going to be a good fit, especially with Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson. I think that's going to be really nice. Brian Robinson Jr. in the backfield as well. I think it's it's a win-win situation. I think Jaden Daniels could be a phenomenal superstar there with the commanders. Let's pull the board back up here. Here, the next guy we see we here, he have Drake May. Where do we have Drake May going? Well, I'm going to consistently say it's the NFL draft going one, two, three. We have the Patriots taking Drake May. Now, it's kind of like a whole restart. What do we really do? I don't know. Do we have our quarterback of the future? Well, we know now they do not have the quarterback of the future. There's nobody on their roster uh, that can compete to be the future. So they need a new head. Uh, Bill Belichick is no longer there. Who are we going to get to take over for this? I think Drake May, it would be a good fit. I think he has a lot of pluses. Uh, some even rate him as probably possibly the best wide receiver or the best uh, quarterback in this draft. Could be. We don't know. Like I said, everybody's I highly tattled on Caleb Williams. I myself am not as high on Caleb Williams as a lot of people. I think Jaden Daniels is the number one quarterback uh, in this draft class, but nor they're here nor there. I mean, they're all good quarterbacks. It's nitpicking at this point. So I think that Drake may go in there. They're still going to need a lot more help. Drake, I feel bad for whoever's going to be the quarterback of the Patriots. There's not a lot there, right? So they just they need a lot of build up. Drake may could be a good building block uh, for them to start up for him. Let's go ahead and move over to the board. Once again, we see the next guy we're talking about here is J.J. McCarthy. Uh, this is where kind of the, the, the cap goes, right? You got the top three quarterbacks in the draft and here everything else. If you draft one of these other guys, you're probably going to be reaching. Now it's coming J.J. McCarthy. I think that if we look at the Broncos going and taking J.J. McCarthy, I think that could happen. Uh, Sean Payton is known to be aggressive on his guys. I know when he's back with the New Orleans Saints. He really wanted um, he wanted Patrick Mahomes, and we were willing to take Patrick Mahomes at that spot until the Chiefs jump above uh, the Saints and drafted Patrick Mahomes. So I, I think he's just going to go get his guy. I think J.J. McCarthy is somebody that they're looking for. They're not looking for somebody to be swift and nimble outside the pocket like like um, like they had in Russell Wilson. I think right now he's looking for more of a Drew Brees type of guy who can work inside of the pocket and make plays with his arms. That could be J.J. McCarthy. He's shown that he could do that in Michigan, even though they are more of a run-heavy type of team with a nice stellar defense. I think he can still deliver the football uh, with a nice throwing motion and good accuracy. So I think that J.J. McCarthy could be a good fit there with Sean Payton. I think he will uh, elect to have him as his quarterback. I predict J.J. McCarthy going to the Broncos. Let's move it back over here to the drawing board here. We see the next guy. We have his Bo Mix uh, going on right here. 
I think Bo Nix, a good point for him, and I think he will be drafted by the Rams. Now, let's think about this a little bit here. So, the Rams are going to need a new quarterback eventually. Matthew Stafford is getting a little long in the tooth. Who knows? Yeah, he was even flirting, maybe even retiring last year. He may retire uh, this year or next year. Who knows when he's going to retire, but they need somebody in the building that's going to take over. I think Bo Nix could be a good asset for this football team. If he can learn on the Matthew Stafford and be a good professional, I think he's got a lot of tools to do with it and he's got some good mobility. You tag him up with a little bit of Cooper Cup action, a little bit of Puka Naku action. You got Kyron Williams coming on. This could be an explosive offense sooner rather than later. We were at long here. Let's go to the sixth guy we're going to be talking about here. It's going to be Michael Penix over there. And who else I have drafting Michael Penix is the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to be looking for somebody. I don't think O'Connell uh, really is the answer there. They kind of tried him out. He was okay. He showed some flashes. Wasn't too bad. But I think Michael Penix just gives him somebody else that can just sling the football all over the field. They need somebody who can deliver the football to Devontae Adams. They've already said Devontae Adams is our guy. He's staying with us. Who else than Michael Penix, who was able to throw to Romo Dunze and Jalen Polk and, and Jalen McMillan? He had a lot of receivers. They threw the ball all over the field. And I think they're going to, they want to try to do the same thing. Jacoby Myers and Devontae Adams, they need somebody to deliver the football. That could be Michael Penix. That's my prediction. Moving on to the next guy. Actually, the last rookie that we're talking about here is from Tulane. We're talking about Michael Pratt. And the guy that I have uh, taken them, this is really starting over, is the Seattle Seahawks. Now, they have Geno Smith right now, so Pratt can come in. I don't think he's ready to start as an NFL quarterback, but if he can learn behind Geno Smith, a professional, and develop as a quarterback, I think the Seahawks could find a, a quarterback of the future. I do like Pratt and his intangibles and what he brings to the table to the NFL team. I think that putting him over there on the Seahawks, they've already got a lot of weapons out there. DK Metcalf, does he end up staying long-term? Uh, Lockett, he's kind of towards the end of his career probably. Jack Smith and Jigba will sooner rather than later be the number one wide receiver on this football team. Let him grow with a nice young quarterback like Pratt. I think it is a match made in heaven. I really like Pratt going to the Seahawks. Move right along. Let's go back to the board here. Let's go. The next quarterback you see we're talking about is Justin Fields. Now, if you guys were watching a video that I released a little earlier, I think it was a couple weeks ago, we talked about Fields and where he would go. My prediction is the Steelers. Mike Tomlin really likes Fields. I think that Arthur Smith, I think all just a lot of things that are surrounding the, the, the Steelers are perfect for Justin Fields. There are some rumors right now about the Atlanta Falcons, right? That's kind of his hometown where he could go. I still think it's going to be the Steelers. I think the Steelers fits more of, of Fields' more play style, and I think the Steelers could be a better fit for him. So let's move on to the board. Go to the next quarterback here. We see Kirk Cousins, and Kirk Cousins having a lot of talk. I know Justin Jefferson really wants him back in Minnesota, but I think Kirk Cousins, the team that he ends up with is the Vikings. I think he goes back to the Vikings. The Vikings want the Vi uh, wants Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins wants the Vikings. Jefferson wants the Vikings. Everybody wants the Vikings. They saw how this team performed when Kirk Cousins got hurt. They were not as good as with, with without Kirk Cousins as they were with him. I think they're going to want to bring him back to give him a nice little pay raise. I think it's going to be a, a marriage made in heaven again. I don't think Kirk Cousins is going anywhere. I know it's boring, but I have him definitely going back to the Vikings. Let's go back over to the board here. As you see, we have Daniel Jones over here. Where would he be going? Is he going to be a career guy? Do do the uh, do the Giants pick a? Uh, pick a quarterback if available. If Drake May or Jaden Daniels falls to the Giants, uh, what do they do here? In my prediction, uh, I think Daniel Jones next season or this season will be with the Giants. I don't think that they're going to go anywhere. I think in the NFL draft, you're going to see one, two, three. You're going to see Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, and Drake May go one, two, three off the board. They're, they're not going to draft either J.J. McCarthy or, or Bo Nix that early in the draft. They're going to pass on him. I think they're going to get him an offensive weapon, maybe even uh, Malik Neighbors or Romo Dunze. Something like that should be able to fall to uh, the Giants, and I think that that's what we're going to do is still build around Daniel Jones. I don't think he's that bad of a quarterback. Yeah, he's shown some bad things, and he's had some bad notions. But I think he can, I mean, when he was healthy, he led him to the playoffs, right? He just ended up having a bad season last season because he was hurt. It is what it is. Let's move over to the board again here. When we look at it, we're going over Sam Howell here. And I don't think he's going to be back with the Commanders. I'm going to let you guys know. I think Jaden Daniels goes there. Or, or even Drake May. They might take Drake May, but I think they'll take J uh, Jaden Daniels. So I have Howell going to the Jets. I think the Jets 
is going to be a perfect landing spot for Sam Howe. He gets to learn behind Aaron Rodgers. He doesn't have to start right away. And he can come in there and he can actually learn how to be a professional. Sam Howe's got some really good flashes about him. I actually like Sam Howe as a quarterback. I think he's got a lot of potential in him. And learning a back there from Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers don't have to be looking over his shoulder. Howe can just sit there and learn them to get rid of Zach Wilson. He just don't need to be in the NFL at this point. But anyway, that's nor here nor there. Sam Howe could be the backup to Aaron Rodgers, and I think that could be a good fit. Moving right along here, back to the board here. Going over the last quarterback, and you can already see it's going to be Ryan Tannehill. And the last helmet you see here is the Falcons. I think the Falcons are going to end up with Ryan Tannehill. I think that a lot of people have Justin Fields going there, but at the end of the day, they're going to have to give up some things to get Justin Fields. They're not really going to have to give up much to get Ryan Tannehill, and he's a proven veteran. They've got a lot of weapons out there, right? They've got, you know, Drake London. They've, they've got B. John Robinson. Uh, they've got Kyle Pitts. And they could even have somebody like a Romo Dunze land to them in the NFL draft. Guys, I'm telling you, this could be a phenomenal offense if just having somebody at the helmet, right? And I know they were talking about uh, the, the head coach came in here, Raheem Morris, said that, you know, he wouldn't be standing at the podium if they had better quarterback play. Kind of a shot at De uh, Desmond Ritter. But I think that that's a key to saying, well, do you really want to go get Justin Fields, who really isn't the best passer of the football? Why well, don't they go get some, a proven veteran like Ryan Tannehill and try to build some type of resume there to say, hey, look, we can be a good team. Maybe even get a quarterback later on, maybe a Spencer Rattler or something like that, uh, Jordan Travis, something like that, later on in the draft to help develop behind Ryan Tannehill and then play the football. But hey, look, I'm going to put these guys back up. Uh, on the board here. These are the 12 quarterbacks that I'm talking about here. These are all the helmets that I have on these guys. My prediction of where these guys are going. And I'll tell you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Guys, we're putting out a bunch of videos throughout this offseason to help you best prepare for your NFL upcoming drafts. Guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.